Hey, this is GM's 3800 Series 2 engine. Specific model is a 2002 Buick Les Sabre. Let's start with the injector coil test. This is going to test the resistance of the injector's coil. If the resistance is too high or if it's too low, it can affect engine drivability. You're going to disconnect all the injector's connectors, preferably on a cold engine. On a cold engine. These connectors are easily accessible and so are the ones on the back for cylinder 2, 4, and 6. To disconnect the injector's connector, you see that blue tab? Pull up on it. And then you see that black tab in the middle of it? You're going to press on it until it clicks. Yeah, and then it comes out. To remove. To replace over here to the left on cylinder 3 we're already set up we're gonna read the resistance of that coil set your digital multimeter to ohms and the specification should be between 11 and 14 ohms when the engine temperature reads between 50 and 90 degrees F. One thing to note is the resistance of these coil windings increases as temperature increases. As it gets hotter, the resistance value is going to be higher. We're reading 12.3 ohms for cylinder 3's injector. If you go to the junkyard and you cut a spare injector connector, that's going to make this test quick and simple. So here's our readings for the rest of the cylinders. They are all within specification. Now we can move on to the fuel injector balance test. Connect the fuel pressure gauge to the engine and connect your bi-directional scan tool with the key on, engine off. Key on, engine off. So we're gonna go to functional tests, injector balance. All fuel lines are connected. Fuel pressure gauge is connected. The test can only be run once per ignition cycle. So let's get started. Injector number one is going to pulse and record this reading right now, which is about 46. Go on, continue. And record this reading, the lowest reading. It's about 36. Continue. We're going to do that for injector 2. Record this reading right here, which is about 46. Continue. And record its lowest reading, which is about 36. Continue. And you do that for the rest of the injectors. Here's our pressure drop results. All injectors drop 10 PSI. Now we're going to add all values, which brings us to 60, and divide by the number of fuel injectors, 6. This gives us an average drop of 10 PSI. An average drop of 10 PSI. The specification is replace any injectors that differ by 1.5 PSI. Replace any injectors that differ by 1.5 psi this system is running flawlessly and that wraps up the fuel injector balance test 
on GM's 3800 Series 2 engine. Have a good day.